Yeah, so since I've been doing this YouTube malarkey, I've, uh, I've gained an incredibly strong fan. It's my little mate, Emily. So Emily watches YouTube all the time. She has these, these YouTubers that she follows and she's wanted to become a YouTuber herself. So we thought what we'd do is uh, we'd come out to the woods for a bit of a walk around. We'd let her do a bit of filming, get her in on a, on a first YouTube video. And then we'll go to the shop, grab some snacks and treats. And then we'll head back to the house and we're going to build a den in the living room. And we're going to get some of the camping kit out and we'll get our head down in there. Hey Emily, do you know what that is? That is a hedgehog house. Hmm? Mind me if I stand it on it? Yeah, you don't really want to stand on it because you might squash the hedgehogs. You having fun? How high are you going? This high. That high? Yeah. How do you feel up there, Ams? Good. Yeah? I'm you're, higher than you. You're my little tree climber? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, stand up, stand up. What's this you found here, Emily? A den. A den? Who do you think built that? Daddy. I didn't build it. I'm not that good at bushcraft. Right, so we thought we'd try something a bit different today. Getting bored of lockdown and just sitting there watching TV and, and what have you. I recently got Claire and Emily into the mountains and out hiking on the weekends, but fortunately that's been closed down a little bit, hasn't it? So what we decided to do today was to go out for a walk on an adventure in our local woodland and then from there we'll go and get some goodies from the shop and then we'll go home and we're going to set up a camp in the living room and try and make a den so this is our take on how to stay sane during lockdown so i know a lot of people are struggling at the moment because they're not able to do what they want to do and um, my biggest tip for you would just be to just get out there even if you live in a city or whatever get out there put your walking boots on or if you don't have walking boots just put your trainers on Go for a walk, get yourself out there for a couple of hours. Really does clear the mind with the fresh air. Just something different to look at than them four walls. Hi guys! I'm in my own den and it's made out of um, wood and mud and, um, and I really love it and I've got a really comfortable seat and I'm out in the woods and I've just been in really lots of mud. I think you might want to see my mummy and daddy. There they are. I'm really happy I start being on YouTube because um, I've done um, a video with my daddy um, jumping into a river and um, now I can definitely do my own because this is the one. So we're just coming out the woodland walk now. Emily seems pretty content after a walk and climbing trees and playing about. Let's cheer her up for today. 
So we're just going to nip the shop, get some goodies. I'm going to get some red wine for tonight. Standard. Also got a bit of rum there as well. So it's not too dissimilar to my normal videos. And yeah, I'm going to try and figure out how we're going to make the ultimate camp in the living room. Oh yeah, better introduce you to Mrs. Wilson. You've seen her before in another video, but yeah, she's going to maybe get a little bit more involved. So he's, uh, she's agreed to come on a wild camp with me. Right, so we're back home now. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a nice little den for our Amelie. I say it's for our, Amel our Amelie. It's really for me. I'm quite excited about this. So we've got a few bits and bobs that we're going to set up. I've got to do a bit of a uh, bit of joinery uh, to try and make some posts. Um, anyway, we'll show you what we've got anyway. First thing we've got is the standard DD multicam top. So we're going to try and set that up in some sort of fashion. Um, then we've got a few sleep mats. So we've got the my brand new Therma Rest Neo Air X Firm. I think it'd be a bit too warm for in the house, but we'll have a go anyway. And we've also got my Robins Primacore 90 sleep mat. So I think Claire will probably be on that. We can get her used to that. I've donated that to Claire now so when she comes wild camping. So yeah, she gets to go with that. And then for Amelie, we've got the Mountain Warehouse Compact Inflating Mat. So no R value on this. So it's fine for in the house, but this was so comfortable this year. I think it only cost me about 30 quid and I used it in the summer. So yeah, Emily gets to go with that. Then of course, as you know, OX Fathom EV400. I've used this an awful lot this year. This will be getting used in the house for Emily. Another one, exactly the same for Claire. And last but not least, this is what I'll be sleeping in. Massively overkill for in the house. I can't see me... Uh, zipping this up at all tonight but it's mega comfy i just really want to sleep in it <laughs> there we go uh, right then let's get cracking Right, so here we have our standard living room set up with the DD top. Nice little space under there. What I've done is I had some arcs, some old door arcs, and all I've done is I've screwed them together. Let's show you on this one. Yeah, all I've done, old door arcs, screwed them together to the height of the ceiling, and that's just trapping that up there. So what we'll do, I've got our little area here to lie down. Got the glow with the TV lights and the fire. So yeah, I'll get the uh, match set up now and some sleeping bags. Get some uh, some wine on the go and some snacks. Right, so the air beds are in. One of the sleeping bags is in. Claire's just setting up the rest of the uh, sleep systems, aren't you, darling? I am indeed. And Emily's in the bath, so when she comes down, hopefully she'll be made up. <laughs> what do you reckon? Cool. Do you like it? Yeah. Your bed's the middle one. With the elephant on? No, we've mixed up, mixed up the teddies! <laughs> Me and Mummy! <laughs> I didn't set it up, Mummy set it up. Mummy! <laughs> Amongst the day we were setting up camp and everything, I had a brainwave and I thought of an amazing piece of survival equipment and it's very fitting for me and here it is, it's, it's, it's hung around my neck and I can just think of so many scenarios where this will this could potentially save my life and it's a bottle of cracking around my neck so my thoughts behind this are like you know imagine you're out on camp you've got your camp set up and then a badger comes out the brush and starts coming at you like dead angry like he's going to get you so i thought a bit like popeye with a spinach give me a cracking so like badger's coming at me open up the cracking oosh bash the badger clever isn't it Right, so that's us all tucked up in bed, just chilling out, watching Harry Potter. I must admit, I like this idea with the old tarp. I might have to try that ground dwelling stuff that people do in a bivvy on the floor, but we'll see, see how the summer gets on. So yeah, a bit of a different video. As I said earlier, remember, if you're feeling a bit low and whatnot, just get yourself out for a walk for a few hours. Doesn't matter if you've got the kit or not, chuck your trainers on, get yourself out for a walk and just do something spontaneous and strange like what we've done. I must admit, it's proper cheered us up doing this. 
feels a bit silly setting up a big den with a DD tarp in your living room, but we're having fun. We're lying on the floor, watching the telly, and we're happy. Well, we've got a takeaway on its way. Gonna have a few beers, make sure Amelie falls asleep soon. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.